look, 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 look. Look at this. Look at this. Right through. Look. Right through. Right through. Oh. Let me show you how to brush out your mini doodle, your poodle, your cavapoo. Uh, whatever Arthur is here, all I know is that he is one gorgeous dog, guys. He's like this beautiful, like tan and white, uh, just poodle something. Um, but just real quick, man, just get his face. He's just so cute. Got to show him to you. All right, let's get into this. All right, so we're doing a brush out here, guys. Get your brush out. Get your dog on the table. We're going to start with this back right leg. We're, like I always say, we're going to do the back, torso, front legs, and head. Back, right leg, right now. Okay, we're starting right here at the hip. We're just going to brush down. Okay, we're using the Andis large slicker brush, and we're going to be going through them with an Andis double sided comb. Okay, just lifting the foot here. Okay, down his leg. Get the inside so you got to get the inside of the leg here see this right there look at that use the corner of the brush look at what i'm doing here see how i'm using i'm not doing this and you got to be careful with the penis area don't come up like this okay you want to just look finesse finesse your brushing right down that paw now you're always going to have some knots down in the paw right okay i can feel one you know, definitely like feel too. You gotta feel in, in your right hand, the brush. L notice how I'm lifting his leg not too high, right? Okay. While I'm here, I like to grab a little bit of this too right here in the tuck up. Just grab that real quick. It'll just save some time. Okay, and I'm, I'm doing this at a little bit of a slower pace just so that I can show you guys how to do it, right? Then in here, look, we're gonna move that tail over. We're gonna get right in here and get the rest of that inner leg and lift and do the rest of the hock. Just like that. All right. Right leg is already done. Let's go through them with the comb. Okay, the comb is the big test, right? This is gonna tell us if we miss spots. Okay, like right here, you see this? Look, see that little tug right there? That's a spot right there. So look, let's just target that, get it out of the way, just to a little tiny knot, right? Look at that, there it is. You wanna be careful on the feet here, guys. If they have knots in the feet, don't yank them. It really hurts them. Dogs will yelp. They yelp a lot when you pull knots in their feet. And that's why in this video, it's really important to learn to never have your dogs get matted or knotted, but just don't let that happen. If you do this, if you do this a couple of times a week, if you did this once a week, your dog wouldn't get knotted. Come on, who doesn't have that kind of time? Are you that busy that you can't take, you know, 15 minutes? I'm gonna do the tail right here. Real quick, I'm doing the tail. You don't have 15 minutes to brush out your dog? Listen, if you get a dog like this, I want you to remember something. I want you to remember that you have to incorporate grooming in it all too often people will buy dogs like this golden doodles labradoodles and not consider that that dog is going to require so much grooming can you do some of it yourself do you have a groomer that you know of that's willing to take you on okay maybe your groomer's too busy maybe you don't have time for a golden doodle or you know money for a golden doodle or a labradoodle a big a big poodle mix like this uh maybe you don't have time or the money if that's the case you don't get that breed you just don't as cute as they are i know i know it's hard you go into places and you see that puppy you want that puppy right but consider consider this consider the the work consider that you're going to be doing this at least once a week right doing the same thing on this left rear leg okay that we did on the right one okay and now i'm just going to start grabbing a little bit of this up here because we're going to make our way forward right and again see that little tuck up just grab it real quick while you can that's another very sensitive area guys if you see a knot there you know you, you're either going to clip it out if it's or you know make sure you're gentle there 
and we've gone through them with the comb again checking our work here see see this see that little snag that tells me right there there's a knot boom we, we go back to the brush you know there's there's the matting right everybody talks about de matting um, in my professional opinion, you should never have to demat a dog. You know why? Because your dog should never be matted. Why is your dog matted? You know, your dog should never be matted. So, you know, yeah, in some cases, do you, are you going to demat your dog? Yeah, you are. But I'm sorry. Don't let your dog get matted. All right. Here we go. Look at that. Just like that. What are we in? Five minutes? Five minutes we did all that. All right. All right. Let's rock and roll here with Arthur we're gonna you're such a good boy Arthur I love you I'm gonna just work up his torso look a couple of strokes up here up here right then down here right right to here right right where his shoulders start see my hand right here that's where you want to start and just bring it all back now now we're gonna do all this torso area we're gonna come down a little bit too okay and while we're doing it right don't waste strokes if you want to learn how to brush quicker, let's say I'm up here, do this a couple of times. Look, see, I'm just going to that front leg. I'm focused on this area, but grab a couple of strokes here because you're going to be doing that next. Anticipate. It's like reading, right? Remember when you were taught to read and your reading teacher or your English teacher always told you to try to read the next word, right? Use your peripheral. Same thing, guys. Look at that. Look, look, boom. See, I'm here. I'm doing this. Get those strokes in and then come back. All right. Let me see here. Look at this look, right away. Like, look at that big snag up there. So that tells you you got to do a little bit more brushing. And you may have to hold the, the, the skin, too, like this, okay? Because I'm, I'm trying to you know film this at the same time. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm doing this actually a little bit unorthodox. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch sides, okay, and notice what I'm doing too, like I'm, as I'm switching sides, I'm giving a couple more extra strokes that maybe I may have missed a spot in what we already did, so, you know, you're kind of going over your work, but stay involved, stay, go into flow mode with this. As a professional groomer, right, guys, us groomers, we, we tend to go into flow mode with this and you forget what you're even doing, you know, but props to Arthur's owners because he's not knotted. I mean, he's I mean, he's got a few knots here and there, but they're doing a great job maintaining his coat. And that's what it's about. Guys, groomers cannot make up in, you know, in an hour or two what you haven't done in eight weeks you know what i'm saying you know don't don't brush your teeth for six months and then go to the dentist and tell me how nice he's he, you know your teeth look you know what i'm saying like if this is this is maintenance this is maintenance one of the things i'm going to show you here though too is right in this underside what what i want to do what we'll show you guys is when you're brushing in here, you want to be really, really careful of his penis, okay, with male dogs. So you literally have to get get the penis out of the way. You can flip it up this way and get the brush there, see? Because that's really sensitive. And believe me, your dog will appreciate it. Your male dog will appreciate it, trust me. Okay, you don't want to be brushing penises, man. Come on. It stings. Okay, <laughs> now we're moving forward. See, we're already almost at his head, right? Now look, I'm gonna stay on this side and I'm just gonna keep going with his front legs. Now, here's the, here's the thing. This is the reason why I'm waiting on the front legs, right? Because look at what he's doing. Look, look how he's turning his elbow in. He's pulling away. Why? Because most dogs don't like the front legs. But dogs vary. You might have a dog that just doesn't like the back legs. You might have a dog that doesn't like its rear being brushed. 
or definitely by his penis being brushed. Uh, but if you know these things, what you do is you save them for last. Okay, save whatever the dog doesn't like for last so that you can get something done. Going through them with the comb here. Just wanted to go through this a little bit more. All right, so look what we did. We're, we're guys, we are more than halfway done with this brush out already. Okay, we're just more than halfway done. Okay, if you got a dog like this, you know, if you, if you have a big doodle, if you have a, a golden doodle, labradoodle, guys, you're gonna have to do this probably a little more often. So I'm gonna switch gears here again, come to this front. It pays to be ambidextrous too. I use my left hand on the left side of the dog. I use my right on the right side of the dog. But remember what we talked about before? Remember because we had those couple of strokes that we did and we're saving time? Like, look, look now. Now we just have to do the bottom. See, because we, we did those strokes before, you know? Think of it, think of it in, in parts like strokes. Like how many, how many brush strokes are you actually doing? You know, save them, you know? The, the, the more knotted, the, the worse condition that the dog is in, then the more strokes, the more brushing you're gonna do, right? That's how you have to look at it. It's work, it's work. Okay, so you, you know, you can see where, look, see, I want you to demonstrate. So I'm using the finer part of the comb too, right? This is the finer part. This is a double edged comb, okay? We're gonna leave everything we're using in this video in the description. So see how easy it's going through here? But look, not up here, not, a, it's definitely not, look, look at this big knot. It's not a knot, it's just that it's not brushed. And it's like, it's tangled is what it is. It's not a knot, it's, it's tangled, right? Okay, so, and I'm gonna show you the difference because when we get to the head, which we're gonna do now, I'm gonna show you how much better that's gonna look. Okay, so look at that guys. We already got through his whole body. His whole body is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to lift up his neck here, get under his neck, just like this, just get under his neck. Um, also, another technique you wanna do, you wanna lift that leg, get the elbow area. You gotta get that elbow area, right? Cause they knot up quickly there. And if the knots are too big there, don't brush them. You're gonna clip those out, okay? But the elbow areas and what we do on this side is same thing. We lift up and out and oh, I'm blocking you there and we get the elbow area, okay? And the inside of the leg. So as, as we're working up his chest, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the inside of the front leg just to make sure that we got all of that. Come here, buddy. It's okay, Arthur. It's okay, Bubba. I love you. Here we go. See that? Okay. Now, remember that big knot? Remember that big knot there? The big tangle? Look at that. Watch. Just, just with this here. Let's clean out the brush a little. You want to clean out your brush every once in a while. Okay? Now, look. Now, a couple of strokes. I did, what, five, six strokes there? Seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe ten strokes. Look, already a little staticky, but look, already just going through. You see how easy it is? It's, it's, you got to do this. You, you can do this. Don't, don't think you can't do this. You know, you guys at home uh, with these types of dogs, get yourself a grooming table. Get your dog up on the table. Watch how I do it and just do the same thing. Okay, there's so much information these days, guys. The world is getting better, not worse. Believe me, it may seem like it's getting worse, but listen, everybody's sharing their stuff, you know? Everybody's, you know, I love what people are doing. I love that professionals, whether it's dog groomers, whether it's, you know, plumbers, chefs, electricians, uh, mechanics, you know, um, they're just showing our stuff, showing what we do, because it helps. It helps everyone. So what I am gonna do with that, because we got so much static going, I'm going to actually grab a little bit of my Shoshin, right? This is Shoshin, I got it in a bottle, and I'm just gonna spray a little down the ear, 
just to get rid of some of that static and that's going to allow for a better brush out right there look at that just look at that guys look 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 at that look at what we did in that little bit right you know and here's the crazy thing right as a groomer and we're not going to show it all in the video but you know in order to in order to 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 do any of this right in order to do this you know you got to do what we're doing first you know in order to do this like scissoring and and that's that's what that's the difference between you know grooming a dog and and you know just grooming a dog properly and not grooming a dog properly right is that it allows you to do that and we're going to do the same thing on this year we're going to make it look exactly the same all right now did one ear i'm going to just lower this a little bit so i can get behind the loop now now i'm just working the back of his neck here right and I'm coming forward on his head and we're going to make our way just to the other ear, right? And notice how we, we go back a lot, right? So we started here, we went across, got a lot of this out. And then look, we go back again. We do it again. We do it again, right? And you're going to feel that in your brush. Now look, here's the other ear. Same thing, same thing. See this brush too? Look at my index finger. See this little green thing? They thought of everything. I love this Andis brush, okay? This is a Andis slicker brush. The grips here on the side are awesome, right? It feels so good in your hand. And then every once in a while, you're not gonna do it all the time. Sometimes you'll be doing this with your hand. And then other times, I, uh, your finger will just, I will find that my finger just places there without me even like realizing it. And it just shows you how much thought goes into you know, these tools and manufacturing things. Here you go, Arthur. So I'm just flipping his ear, brushing the inside and the out, okay? And again, guys, look. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that, right through, right through. All right, now, now, now we did his ears, two ears, the top of his head. Now we're gonna focus on his face because guys, again, this is, what they usually hate the most is their face. So had I started on his face, right? Um, I would have just upset him right away. Why upset the dog? And now he's like in this really bad mood. He hates what you just did to him. Well, he's not gonna like anything else now, right? So start with the easy stuff. Start with the easy stuff, here we go. And I'm just, again, using the corner of the brush. This is the part of the brush right here so cut your brush in 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 quarters look cut it like this you're doing this and this okay sometimes you're using using the full brush sometimes you're using this corner this corner or the bottom corners try to remember that because in this case look i'm going to use that this this corner right here here right and then quickly use this corner here see that so try to remember that. Try try to use your tools. The, these are tools just like a mechanic would have, just like a wrench. You have to use it the right way, you know. And you know, if you're right-handed, you're going to use this corner more often often than not. Again, I use both hands. So now now with this left side, I'm going to be using this this top left corner here. See, look, right there. And I'm just going to grab for. I'm holding him here. You know, I'm not yanking on him. I'm literally just holding him okay i'm not pulling him you know i'm just holding him and look the bottom part of the brush is there you know and then like i said on the bigger bigger wider areas of the dog you're going to use the whole brush you see but when you're when you're doing uh you know pinpointing areas use those corners guys we, we we're we're like done with this i'm telling you Okay, this is how easy it is. I'm just going to comb through his head. Look, everything, everything is just flowing through. Look, his face. Again, big, big props to Arthur's owners who are doing the work at home. Okay, um, you can't expect that from groomers to just make up what you haven't done. It's not that it's not fair to the groomer. It's not fair to the dog. 
Um, and ultimately it's going to be unfair to you because the groomer is actually going to charge you more, right? If you, if your groomer has to sit there and work on your dog an extra hour, listen, expect to pay an extra 20, 30 bucks. So save yourself the money too. You know what I'm saying? Save yourself the money. It's just, it's just good all around, right? Save the money. It's easier for your dog and your groomer charges you less. That's it guys, Arthur is completely brushed out. I do this every day, I love brushing, I love showing you guys videos. Uh, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope it made sense to you, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.